this hawk. Scared these. That's in the Mara River in Africa. And literally, the, uh, oh, by the way, there's a gorilla. And, and, and there's the shot I was telling you about. If you look closely, you can see, you can see the camera. You have to look really, well, I wonder if it's... That was shot from a uh, hot air balloon. And we were floating right up and no stabilization. That's how smooth it was. It was in the morning, it was uh, unbelievable. And then the 4K camera, that, that big lens I was just telling you about, you're gonna see a shot here coming up and look at the quality of, of that big lens. This was shot in 8K with a crazy, uh, crazy lens. But, uh, you rarely, you, you rarely see this quality anywhere, even including National Geographic. It's got a stunning quality to it. But we're able to, we don't have a narrative when, when we shoot everything, so it allows me to, um, to grade it a certain way, too. I can create uh, um, artsy-looking shots that aren't too HDR'd. I tell my guys when, when they edit um, this material, that when it starts looking to, we call the term candy land, then we've pushed the HDR too far. We want it to look natural, but crazy beautiful. So there's a fine line there before it gets to candy land. Anyway, let's go around. I'm gonna show you a little bit. You know, we, you know, you can't have just pretty images. You have to have a way of putting them on the screen. And one of the biggest things I do besides creating these images is we engineer and design hardware and software to be able to distribute these images throughout all these casinos. And here's some of the equipment that we do it with. We have all the uh, servers, switches. Um, here's sort of our think tank right here. We uh, um, um, are testing a system that's going into Las Vegas right now. This is a fully digital system. Um, this particular system, like our sports book, has the ability to do hundreds of 4K streams at once. And that's, uh, here's a mini studio. When we do smaller shoots, we go in here. Um, it, it, uh, um, as a matter of fact, we just uh, uh, completed a, a food shoot uh, last week where we incorporated a robot arm and we installed a high-speed camera. The high-speed camera is capable of uh, shooting a thousand frames a second in full 4K RAW. And so what we were doing is uh, taking shots and moving the camera around a drink ultra fast and then pouring into it at the same time or dropping a cherry in it. And it gives you this sense of movement along with the high speed. The high speed will give you a incredible slow motion effect that, that's an incredibly fluid and inc incredibly smooth. And thus you need uh, equipment like this. And by the way, this is just the camera or just the, uh, the base and the camera uh, arm, uh, robot arm. Um, the brain of it is these two things right here. And then we program them uh, uh, with a 3D visualization program called Maya. M-A-Y-A, -A, and that allows us to do um, incredible ramps. For instance, this, this, this uh, um, robot can go real fast, then slow and ease into the shot. It can go like, whoa, whoa, and that can be the shot right there. And then when you marry that with other um, um, actions, it creates uh, stunning visual effects. As a matter of fact, this exact same rig with the high-speed Phantom camera that we use was just used in the iPhone 10 commercials. Um, which is, you shoot high speed uh, photography, you need tons of light. We use this light as our key light. Um, it's a uh, um, 10,000 watt equivalent, uh, a tungsten equivalent, but it is an LED. So um, I can um, plug this in, get 10,000 watts of power, but it only draws 1,300 watts of, of AC which means I can take this big light and plug it right into any wall outlet. And in the old days, this would take about as much power as what a whole house pulls. Now I can put it anywhere. Of course, it's, you know, a big beast. Let's move on upstairs. 
ground central for all of our editing. All of our content gets produced through here. And we have um, three full-time editors, which also um, help with all of the advertising shoots. And they also travel with me and by themselves around the world to uh, create content for Windows of the World. Matter of fact, Chris Benson and Joe Kubler are heading to Croatia next Wednesday. And right now they're um, feverishly trying to finish up all the tasks before they leave and uh, getting their um, itineraries and their permits all secure along with uh, creating carnets, which is a passport for all the equipment. They'll travel with at least a quarter of a million dollars worth of equipment. So all that stuff has to be insured and properly uh, documented before going overseas on these, uh, on these expeditions. This is an interesting, we put this, uh, we call this our wall of shame. <laughs> and uh, basically what it is, is just little snapshots and pictures of, of some of the shoots we've done all over the world. Um, you'll see uh, shoots, uh, some of our bigger shoots when we do uh, big uh, 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 um, productions. We've shot uh, everything from swimsuit models in Miami with, uh, and in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, shooting the mayor here um, uh, on a uh, on a shoot on top of the Museum of Art, um, just to uh, various trips all over the world from uh, uh, Africa, South America. You'll see um, Fiji, and um, this particular picture here is half the equipment that we need when we're doing underwater photography. How many countries have you been to? We've called it hundreds, but I can't really pinpoint how many that is, but literally hundreds of countries. I've, I'm on my second passport and I've added pages twice to, to it. So wow. um, it's uh, my first passport. Um, um, I think I kept it. I'm not sure just for notoriety, but uh, um, it, uh, it was pretty wore out. I think it might've ended up in the ocean a couple of times, you know, uh, but uh, yes. Uh, oh, and by the way, here and here is the film that we come back. It's basically a myriad of two terabyte hard drives. Some of them are 10 terabyte. We have approaching a half a petabyte of, uh, of, of footage that we've shot over the world in the last 15 years. Wow. Which is a lot. A petabyte, by the way, being 1,000 terabytes. So that'll give you an idea of uh, where our story is. Let's move on to the uh, camera room. And um, basically, we're uh, just now starting to uh, uh, prepare for their trip, uh, Joe and Chris. And you'll notice he has uh, big stickers, do not touch. <laughs> you know, um, here, I'll show you this. This is very important. Do not touch. That refers to all of these. They have to have every part and piece completely documented on what we call a carnet. And um, they need to have it so organized that they can produce any one piece of gear. And they have hundreds of pieces and, and, and show the serial number on everything. So um, everything has to be organized. So before a trip, we have so much equipment that you have to leave a little spot that you don't touch the stuff as they're preparing for it. They will be um, um, signing out their carnet next Tuesday before their uh, early uh, Wednesday morning flight to Croatia. Wow. And uh, just a little, you know, we got uh, some of the best stuff. These are, these, are, uh, these are Cine Prime lenses here. They're gorgeous lenses. They're, uh, they're super fast. Everything's manual on them, manual iris, manual everything. That's where you can really get creative. Um, we have, uh, you know, some more lens stuff. Oh, let me show you. I love this lens here. So if you have about $50,000 on you, you can either buy a new uh, Land Rover or if you happen to be a shutter bug, you can... Um, by this lens. It would go right on my camera and it would be wonderful yeah, to shoot uh, theater with it. It will. Well, mm -hmm. and of course, the tripod mount is on the lens, not the camera. 
and um, this lens has been all over the world. This has captured gorillas, lions, um, um, uh, uh, tortoises in the Galapagos Islands. I like to use this for animals. It has an unbelievable bokeh, which is the blurring that you get from lenses. And that's what you get with high quality lenses is the uh, quality. It's got a velvety smooth quality. It, 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 and of course it's sharp, it's a 4K lens, but it isn't about just sharpness. You can get 4K footage on phones, but you don't have glass like this and it gives you a velvety smooth look. And that's what I love about these. It's a great, great uh, Cine film. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Here's a dragon. It's a 6K camera. That's what the brain looks like. And you outfit it any way you want. This happens to have a little wireless outfit. And we use this camera. This particular camera we use for our um, our Ronin, which is a Steadicam unit. It always sits on the Ronin. So you always have a Ronin balanced and ready to go. We just got back from a shoot in Las Vegas. So that's why it's not sitting on the Ronin right now. Oh, let me... Uh, let me just explain our, uh, the media on these things. These things have um, media cards that they record on, these guys right here. And um, these are the uh, slightly older style, but uh, um, they're ultra fast. And they allow uh, the ability to shoot up to 8K resolution at 60 frames a second. Um, which is uh, um, all in raw, by the way. Every frame is a raw frame. And 8K. Yeah, that's some high speed stuff that he shot. That he, he directed. When I say he, Mr. Joe Kugler. Award winning extraordinaire. Say he, hello to the audience. Hello to the audience. Hi. <laughs> no, yeah, he's, uh, um, he's amazing. We, uh, Joe and I kind of uh, um, uh, tag team different shoots. Tonight we're going to shoot a little uh, a little scene uh, in one of our hotel rooms, but he can't make it because he has a young family and uh, they need him tonight. So I'll be uh, directing that one, but Joe probably directs uh, three quarters of it. So, and uh, here we go. We're going to head back downstairs. How do you, you can just do a quick walkthrough through this tunnel. We got a lot of equipment here. We sort of uh, uh, staged some of our equipment right in here. Rip carts, doorway dollies, um, of course, um, you know, C-stands, a lot of other lights. Got a whole set of Kino flows. These are nice. I don't know if you've used these. These are, these are really nice, even lighting Kino flows. They look, like, look like fluorescent, but they're actually LED. And I don't have the strength to uh, take this out, but uh, here's our underwater housing um, for our 8K camera. And um, um, it's amazing. We, we, uh, we uh, incorporate that a lot, some C stand. And, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it sort of in a nutshell. We have a metal shop. In fact, uh, our plasma cutter should be getting here soon. We, we, we design a lot of custom mounts and um, we, uh, we literally uh, have um, top-notch metal fabricators that work for me that we can fabricate not only camera things, but TV mounts, uh, whatever we need, we can, we can make work. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. My pleasure, Dana. Thank you for the opportunity to show uh, my world a bit.